six erogenous zones you've probably never thought of. Good afternoon dear viewer. The most useful and interesting information just for you. I wish you all goodness, happiness, love and a peaceful sky. So let's go. Erogenous zones are located all over the human body, but the sensitivity of each varies, and depends on concentrations of nerve endings that can provide pleasurable sensations when stimulated. The touching of another person's erogenous zone is regarded as an act of physical intimacy. Whether a person finds stimulation in these areas to be pleasurable or objectionable depends on a range of factors, including their level of arousal, the circumstances in which it takes place, the cultural context, the nature of the relationship between the partners, and the partner's personal histories. Erogenous zones may be classified by the type of sexual response that they generate. Many people are gently aroused when their eyelids, eyebrows, temples, shoulders, hands, arms, and hair are subtly touched. Gently touching or stroking of these zones stimulates a partner during foreplay and increases the arousal level. Also, the gentle massage or stroke of the abdominal area along with kissing or simply touching the navel can be a type of stimulation. Spice things up with these little known erogenous zones. Think you're all clued up when it comes to CODIS? Think again. It's not all straightforward for play and sex, as there are areas of the body that you may not have thought to involve, but that are worth paying attention to. Women's Sexuality Guide Grace Hazel says, when we can begin to understand that the entire body is interconnected, with time and dedicated presence, every single cell can be activated through intentional and sensitized touch. My suggestion is that you throw out the erogenous zone map and instead exploratively excite yourself in the knowing that every part of our being has deep orgasmic potential. Here's where to hit up if you don't even know where to start, take notes, people. Fingers. The hands are dense with sensory receptors, making them a must visit. Interlocking yours and your partner's fingers and sliding them apart using gentle pressure will awaken other parts of the body. Sounds a little creepy but don't knock it until you've tried it. The nape of the neck. The back of the neck is a particularly sensitive spot due to the thinness of the skin and concentration of sensory receptors in the area. Most responsive to light sensations, touching, kissing and gently breathing on the nape of the neck can send shivers down your partner's spine adding a new dimension to your foreplay routine. Backs of the knees. Although you wouldn't think it, the back of the knee is an incredibly sensitive area, rich in nerve endings, which it can be interesting, if not a little ticklish, to kiss and lightly touch. Working up the leg from the back of the knee will give your partner the right type of goosebumps. Lower back. Whatever the day of the week, whatever time of day, no one can resist a massage. Start on the shoulders and upper back, and work your way down to the lower back where the nerves are most sensitive. Let your fingertips drift across your partner's lower back, making their blood flow and skin tingle. Go one step further by using an aromatherapy oil to stimulate the senses. Inner wrist. The nerve endings in this little known erogenous zone are plenty and sensitive. We're not used to being touched on our inner wrist or forearm area so, when it's paid attention to, it can be incredibly stimulating. Gently running your fingers up and down your partner's arm, over their pulse point, can help you connect before you get intimate. Scalp The skin on our heads is packed with nerves, making it sensitive to the touch. By giving a gentle but stimulating head massage to your partner, you will be helping to release the feel-good hormones serotonin and oxytocin while causing pleasant feelings to course through the rest of their body, due to the blood flow in the brain. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave your comments. I wish you all love, happiness, kindness and a peaceful sky.